My name is Jacqueline Ripstein. I've been an artist for 36 years. I work as the United Nations uh, as an ECOSOC representative for the International Association for, of Educators for World Peace. One of my main concerns has always been about the peace and the safety and the uniteness of humanity. I've always wanted to create this a space where the arts could take the role of inspiring people to another level. Welcome art loving viewers to Enlightening Entertainment. Today we'll have a special treat for the sight and soul featuring paintings by the internationally celebrated artist Ms. Jacqueline Ripstein. Jacqueline Ripstein was born in Mexico City, Mexico. From childhood, she felt a strong attraction to the arts and taught herself to paint. At age 12, she won the International Prismacolor Arts Competition, and at age 19, she had already painted internationally acclaimed masterpieces. About her early years as an artist, Jacqueline once stated, When I was a little girl, I believed in magic. My wand and my brush transported me to the invisible world. As she was not satisfied with traditional painting methods, Miss Ripstein searched for a new painting technique that could more fully express the inner life of humans. She developed the technique Art in Motion, which was patented in 1976, and after years of searching into the secrets of colors, she found the Invisible Art and Light Technique, which was patented in 1982. Today her paintings have been exhibited internationally in over 360 art shows and have been featured in books at special events and seminars. Her paintings have been displayed in the United Nations headquarters in New York, USA and can be found in select collections throughout the world such as former UK Prime Minister Miss Margaret Thatcher's private collection and the presidential collection in the artist's native Mexico. Ms. Ripstein was so kind to introduce some of her elevating paintings. This painting is called Life, and in this painting the main message is about how many times have we felt destroyed, like you see here in the case of the shipwreck, and the ship itself has the name of life, and how many times have we felt that we had a loss uh, of wealth, of health, of a loved one, or within ourselves that we didn't even have the strength to move on you know, to the next level. And the whole message of it, in reality, that there's an invisible world. And what happens in that invisible world? You see the boat sailing and complete, which is our spirit. And the message of this painting is that our spirit can never be destroyed. We also had the wonderful opportunity to interview Ms. Ripstein at the 2010 Arts Olympus event, which was held on board of the ship RMS Queen Mary in Long Beach, California, USA. I never tried to be an artist because I was an artist. I'm autodidactic. I even wanted to go to Africa and save the animals because I re really never was thinking of being an artist because I believe that when you are, you are, and when you try to be, you lose the being. So it was just such a natural that God just flowed me into being and it started creating as an artist. Jacqueline Ripstein asks others to see things from another perspective and to ask themselves, 
are we aware of our existence in the invisible world? Just because I really had asked God, God, give me something to show people your light, give me something to show people the energy fields that we don't see, our spirit, all the invisible, which out of 24, 24 in a day, hours, we're really in the invisible world. Our thoughts are in the invisible. Our feelings are in the invisible. When we're sleeping, we're in the invisible. So it's important for people to understand that we are creating our lives from the inner side, from what we don't see. At the 2010 Arts Olympus event, Ms. Ripstein was also a panelist for the National Association of Women for the Arts and delivered a speech about the role of the arts in the year 2012. I've given a proposal several times, starting in the Parliament of the World Religion, where the proposal was to use the arts as an instrument for world peace. Einstein used to say, if you're going to solve a problem, you cannot solve it from the level where it was created. You need to move one octave, which is a frequency, above it in order to be able to solve it. Now, if you think about it, that octave is a scale, a color, a sound, and the creative forces. The way we humans have in order to tap into our peace is to hire our vibrations into a level of our own creative forces. I don't know if you know, but the era of peace, Pisces that we just moved into the era of Aquarius was a blue color, masculine era. We were moving into the era of Aquarius, feminine and violet. That's why so many people are being dressed in violet like never before. The arts, the way I see it, will really lead people to another level to a higher level when we can talk from heart to heart instead of mind to mind. If you think about it, who's our best enemy? Our own thoughts. So if we cannot escape from them, imagine if others can. So the whole idea is to really understand what's happening with the changes vibrationally that were energetic antennas. In many of her paintings, Ms. Ripstein expresses spiritual concepts. Heaven to Earth and I did it in the end of 2009. It represents the woman that's pregnant and if you see her she has a rose in her hand and she's about to give birth to the new humanity. Then the man has the fire and the key holding his, in his hand. You can see the pieces of the chest that have been broken which represent that we're entering into a new time where the cosmic chess game has totally changed. We're into another dimension, into different types of changes, not the same as before. So as you can see in Heaven to Earth when I put on the black light, the other dimension of the divine beings come down to us as we ascend in consciousness, we become one with them and they're guarding our world, our earth. I have a dolphin and life on earth, the animals, and the whole painting contains prayer and a quest of asking humanity to be awake and be part of this moment of consciousness.
The effects of Jacqueline Ripstein's artworks have been scientifically tested, among others by Dr. Vaughn R. Cook, who measured the effects of Ms. Ripstein's paintings on the meridian stress points of a person. Dr. Cook stated, The results were impressive. Your art has a most definite calming, balancing, and healing effect. Scientist and radio frequency expert Rafael Lopez Guerrero also reported the high radio frequencies and vibrations which the artworks emit. As a result of these studies, her arts have been proven to be a high vibrational tool for balancing the consciousness of humanity. In 1996, Jacqueline Ripstein was commissioned to paint Our Lady of the Universe for the village of Medjugorje, Croatia, as to help the widows and orphans of conflict. For example, in the case of Our Lady of the Universe, when you see it under normal light, the frequencies are measured with Schumann frequencies to 13.5 megahertz. That means with what Mother Earth is resonating. But at the same time, when I put on the black light on Our Lady of the Universe, they go up to 143 megahertz. So that's where it takes your body, your cells, your DNA, your emotions. So really, my whole thing was to show people that art is not dead matter. It's atoms that are vibrating with so many dimensions and things to it. In 2000, Jacqueline Ripstein opened the Millennium Peace Day alongside Ms. Nani Annan, wife of former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan, and other dignitaries. She has given several peace proposals to the world, including one of them at the Parliament of World's Religions 2004 in Spain. She founded the Humanism Institute, a nonprofit organization which uses the arts and creative forces as a tool for peace. For the last 10 years, Jacqueline Ripstein has worked with indigenous people in Peru in order to revitalize their cultural arts and has helped to educate the indigenous people towards economic stability through the use of their arts and crafts. I believe that if we can teach people how to survive through arts, the world would be more in peace and unite people through their artistic side. Because everybody has an artist within. Either they do the painting or they watch the painting, but they both become the artist. And they all have creative forces. Maybe some people will say, I don't. Well, maybe they don't in the painting, but when they're cooking, they have it. When they're constructing, they have it. And when they're doing any of their jobs, even numbers, they have that creative force moving them. Several of Ms. Ripstein's artworks have prophetic messages. There's times, like in the tsunami, 15 days before, I had the dream, I saw the wave, and it's not the first time that my art has been prophetic and it, that I've seen images that happen, but usually it used to happen many years later. And I went right away next morning, I sent an email saying, a storm is coming. Can you please talk about your work with children? That's something that's innate with me and I've always uh, looked forward to it. Every time I have a show somewhere, I would always ask the government to bring in children to my shows. And some of the children, they would turn to me and when the boat would appear, they would say, oh my God, now I know my grandmother is okay. And it, it was like suddenly these children would see their loved one in, in, in a place where they knew that they was okay. I worked with children with AIDS as well, and we did a tent in the middle of a park, 
and inside of that tent was a painting I am which is a child holding the world and each child would go in by themselves and suddenly a four-year-old she had AIDS the mother had died of AIDS and the father was dying of AIDS and as she went in and she saw the angel appear in the black light the little girl came out with tears saying thank you thank you now I know that I have an angel with me I always knew it but I was not sure and thank you and you could see the sparkle back in her eyes and the, the presence of God again in her Heartfelt thanks, Ms. Jacqueline Ripstein, for using your God-given artistic talent to help uplift humanity's consciousness. May your divine artworks continue to touch and inspire people from all nations. And thank you, gracious viewers, for joining us on today's episode of Enlightening Entertainment. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for words of wisdom after noteworthy news. May the creative intelligence within you guide you toward the light. For more information on Jacqueline Ripstein, please visit www.jacquelineripstein.com www.humanism.org For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.